The Khuzestan province in southwestern Iran is economically and strategically the most important region in the country. Almost 70% of Iran's crude oil is produced in the province, and it accounts for nearly all of the country's natural gas production. Khuzestan's population, some 2.2 million Arabs and Persians, represents only about 6.5% of the country's total population. The Arab community may account for over 60% of these residents, and many have strong cultural ties with Arabs in neighboring Iraq and other Gulf states. The socio-economic gulf between these two groups is considerable. Arab literacy levels have increased considerably in recent years, but Arabs still occupy the lower economic and social rungs of the community. The Arabs resent their lowly status in Khuzestan, and a strong undercurrent of hostility and anti-Persian sentiment pervades the province. Central Intelligence Agency, National Foreign Assessment Center, declassified. Welcome back everybody to Blue Dawn, Rise of Nationality, and of course, Men of War Assault Squad 2. What I just read was a summary of a declassified CIA document titled Khuzestan, Iran's Achilles Tendon. Uh, Arab separatists have received a weapons shipment and have gathered in a compound located in a quiet neighborhood. Uh, they are hours away from moving on the local radio and TV station to broadcast a message asking all Arabs to rise up against the Persian government. Iranian intelligence members are aware of the gathering and have sent a force of Iranian marine commandos to quietly disarm the Arab separatists. Here come the four unmarked pickup trucks. Not, uh, not overly casual though, all painted in military green, belonging to the Iranian Marine Commandos, but in this case, the most suitable vehicle for a situation like this one. They want to arrive undetected, they don't want to cause or attract a lot of attention, rather. Um, this neighborhood is generally hostile, so what they are hoping to do is to send in a few Marines from each direction, uh, catch them off guard, disarm them, and um, disarm the situation in general. It does look, however, like the separatists inside have heard the vehicles. Oh, the lookout is ready as well. Yes, something's not right. Oh my god! That was insane! Yeah, it looks like the Iranian marines were the ones who were ambushed in this case. They made too much noise, or perhaps the Arab uh, separatists have more lookouts around the neighborhood. Okay, what was meant to be a low-key operation has escalated severely. And uh, Iranian Marine reinforcements are on the way. They were on the standby in case something went sour. And it certainly has. More troops have to be called here, but this is going to attract way too much unwanted attention. Grenades are being used now to clear the entrance. They do have the compound surrounded. Some Marines have tried entering. One was shot dead by the van, but another one has cleared this side entrance. So far, so good. We don't really know how many Separatists are alive. There's a few alive around here. Are they protecting their leader? Here come the reinforcements. In the nick of time. It's awesome to hear the Persian voices, or the Iranian, like, unique voices. It's awesome. They're rushing the compound now. Whoa. Explosions outside the compound. Oh, they're storming the building now. Oh, one was shot right outside the window. Yeah, they're holding the building down heavily right now. They've also called for their own reinforcements. Nearby cells who, who were also armed.
We've got separatists approaching from all over the area right now. Arriving in civilian cars. The Iranians have no choice but to call in the army. Of course, that's going to attract a lot of attention, but what choice do they have? Was he dealt with? No, he's still alive. There's just about a, a couple. Oh, he's being pushed back. There's a couple of Iranian Marine Commandos left here now. The Separatists have arrived to save their uh, leader, who I think is still alive. I can't see him. He could be dead inside one of the buildings. Uh, we're going to have to investigate later, but I just don't... I don't see his body anywhere, which makes me doubtful of his death. Iranian Army reinforcements have now arrived. And they're about to engage in a firefight with the Separatists. This is pretty awesome. It's nice to use a variety of units as well. You can tell these guys look quite different. Leader is still alive. He's here in the alleyway. He's got a lot of separatists around him, but there's no escaping now, that's for sure. Grenades are being thrown. Let's take the leader and let's pull him back into the... Uh, into the compound building to make for an epic last stand. He's right now surrounded by his loyal followers. Grenades are being thrown to clear out the street. We've got a lot of separatists outside as well. Oh, that blew him back nicely. Army soldiers entering, being shot dead. They're about to enter in numbers now. The leader's been shot dead out on the street. The compound has been cleared. There's just a few separatists outside right now. We've got a bunch of ambulances arriving on the scene as well. This has been absolutely brutal, guys. What was meant to be a quick sweep and secure has now turned into a full-on... Well, it turned into a full-on battle. Damn. We're going to have a quick look at casualties, guys. We're going to mark the um, um, Arab separatists in yellow and the Iranian government casualties in red. Do let me know if you guys want to see more of these scenarios, fictional or realistic. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.